Where is Darthal? You'll never find out, scum. You defeated Lord Harish, but you can't overcome the three of us at once. Stop! Lord Ket, stand down! My lord, retreat into the shadows. We will stop this assassin. There could be ten of you, and you would fail. Leave us. I haven't come to kill you. Please, don't insult my intelligence. I applaud you. Convey my congratulations to your master for his superior gameplay. At least I die at Sith blood hands. I ask only that I not suffer the indignity of decapitation. Start paying attention, or I will take your head. Barris is not my master. My mission is to bring him down. Nothing more can be gained by maintaining the deception. Ah, if this is true, then the game is renewed. Darth Vauron, Barriss says you gotta die. Better strikes! That assassin had me dead to rights. You did not hesitate to defend me. My friend, I am convinced. What's more, I believe, with my help, you can defeat Darth Barriss. I was hoping you'd say that. Then... Uh, I have a little confession to make. It is true that I'm here to lead our important war effort, but there are other reasons I chose Corellia. Significant pillars of Barriss's power base are here, and together we can tear them down. I'm interested in any chance to hurt Barriss, but he will make more attempts on your life. You must relocate to my ship, where my crew can protect you. Far be it from me to defy you. My protection here has taken a recent hit. But before I go, let me guide you. Most of the Dark Council knows Barris is not the Emperor's true voice, but Barris's two top agents force them to support his bid. One agent safeguards secrets that he uses as leverage. The other leads Jedi Masters in campaigns against Sith who defy him. Now, if they were to disappear... My old master will be left high and dry. Ah, exactly. His support on the Council will evaporate. Barriss's first undercover agent is posing as Colonel Senks of the Karelian Resistance. His stronghold is a labyrinth of secret passages. Unless you scramble his security codes before laying siege, he'll be able to flee through a dozen different escape tunnels. No one escapes me. We have only one chance at this. Better to corner the man and leave nothing to chance. These pulse disruptors will kill all electronic code emissions, effectively locking Senx's secret passages. In truth, he's a fantastic resource. It will be a shame to lose an agent of his caliber. I'll compel him to denounce Barris and join you. An excellent solution, if it can be done. My apprentices and I will report to your ship now. The minute I can point you to the second of Barris's agents, I will. For now, Colonel Sex. My lord, I have Darth Vyron here for you. My friend, I am in the hands of your crew now. <laughs> they are an interesting assortment. My people are capable, don't worry. I hope their talents are not required. If Senx doesn't hand over the files he safeguards once you've neutralized him, I advise destroying his database to eliminate it all. Uh, once done, contact me. But leave the compound first. It's Barris's facility and sure to be bugged. Until then. I'll upload the files. There. Wipe from my system, and relinquish to you. Does this earn your mercy? Sit still while I authenticate your information. Darth Vauron, I am transmitting the materials from Colonel Senx's files. 
Excellent. Let me look them over. Uh, yes, this is the leverage Darth Barris has over my fellow Dark Council members. Now, they are free of him. Does this mean I get to keep breathing and winning the war for Corellia? I leave that decision to my formidable friend. What do you say? Does Colonel Senks live or die? Senks, meet your new master. You heard him, Colonel. Your tenure under Darth Barris has ended. You answer to me now. Understood? Absolutely. I am yours to command. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must reprogram my security systems. Good work, my new friend. You are proving we can tear Barris down without compromising the Empire. I have news, but as I said, Barris likely has the place bugged. Uh, contact me when you clear the compound. All quiet here, my lord. Nothing suspicious and no further attempts on Darth Varul. Captain Quinn is an excellent officer. I'm in good hands here. Barriss' false Jedi is still at large. He leads Jedi against Sith, who defy Darth Barriss' will. My operative, Shadow, is searching for him. Unfortunately, Shadow is pinned down by enemy artillery. He has our information, but had to go radio silent to avoid capture. Does this mean I have to save his hide? Oh, Shadow can take care of himself, but you must rendezvous with him to get the intel. Shadow was cut off on the other side of Axial Park, beyond Coronet Zoo. The park is a frontline battlefield where the heaviest fighting is taking place. We have a safe house in that sector. Shadow will be waiting there. I'll carve a path through the fighting and rendezvous with your man. If you're interested, there is also an opportunity to help the war. The bombings that blocked Shadow are hampering our ground forces in Axial Park. If you could destroy the enemy artillery banks along the way, it would be most helpful. Either way, Shadow will tell you all you need to confront Barriss' Jedi spy. We'll talk again when the deed is done. Ah, you made it! This is heating up, isn't it? Barris has taken off the sparring gloves. This assassin was the most lethal to date. Don't leave anything out. I want to know how it went down. The attack was sudden and vicious. There was no panic, no confusion. To a man, your people stared into the face of death and did not flinch. Captain Quinn must be commended. He took on the assailant with no mortal concern. I'm making up for a past indiscretion. My commitment to my lord is unassailable now. I won't exonerate you so easily, Captain. I do not blame you, my lord. Oh, you ride your people hard. I can't argue with the results. You've successfully neutralized Barris's agents. The end game is upon us. We must both go on the offensive. Until the threat against you is over, we must be cautious. Waiting for another attack is suicide. The last move here on Corellia will take both of us. In a secret lair on this planet, Barris has bound and indentured an ancient Sith spirit. He feeds off this spirit's power, stealing all her visions of the future. Everything he has built has come from her insights. Why haven't you acted on this before now? You don't think I've tried? It is the true reason I am warring here. Barriss's defenses have repelled my every attempt. Only you have the power to break into his lair. And only I know the ritual that unlocks the spirit's bonds. Deliver me to her, and we will strike the ultimate blow and cripple Barriss from within. Now you're speaking my language. Then make yourself ready. We must strike out immediately. Lead the way. And please be sure that assassin isn't waiting. I'll come when you signal. There she is. The entity. Such pure, dark side energy. 
Is she not utterly beautiful? I've never sensed anything so alive with the dark side. Come closer. You are here to aid Varys. Knows I cannot resist. He desecrated my resting place, where I waited for my love, your Emperor. I am bound. Every extraction pains. If you fail, he will punish me for welcoming you. Don't fear, Entity. The trial is over. I know the incantation. Now it is a simple matter. No, you do not understand. We are not alone. At last, I've caught up to you again. Such a finish! Never felt so much pain. I fully expected to die. But I am grateful to have witnessed your destruction of that monstrosity. Wait until you see me defeat Darth Barris. Oh, what a thought! But let's enjoy this thoroughly first. Entity, is Barris aware of what transpired here? Through me, the Defiler sees all of this. Wonderful. He must be twisting with fury. Now, we set up the ritual. The final gate between you and the beyond is lifted. My friend, you have been a revelation. It is time for you to confront Darth Barras. You'd better be serious. Uh, this is a serious matter. Even now, Barras is near indestructible, but I know of no other ways to weaken him. Tell the Hand. The Dark Council awaits, and I will be there to usher you in. You're here! <laughs> the anticipation fills my veins with fire. I feel a hundred years younger. I can't wait to see Darth Barris's face when I introduce you to the Dark Council. Get your holocam ready. Preserve it for posterity. Ha! <laughs> if only we could sell tickets! Meet me in the antechamber to the Dark Council. No one will dare to obstruct you on your way there. Darth Auron, Lord Rathari. Lord Rathari found me and expressed his wish to be here. <laughs> A passionate young man. I told you I'd have your back when you faced Barras. I want to hear him scream. Your wish is about to come true. Rathari's presence will show the rest of the Dark Council that you have Sith support. Barris has called a special session of the Council to make his claim as the Emperor's voice official. I'm fashionably late. Your former master and the most powerful Darths in the galaxy await. <laughs> the play is yours. I've never felt more alive. Lead the way. I am the Emperor's Wrath, chosen by the Supreme Master himself. I know his will, and Barris is not the voice. Listen to truth, my fellows. You are the victims of a ruthless and deceitful power grab. Valron, for whatever reason, greed, jealousy, you've refused to accept reality. Your champion is failing, Valron. 
and you'll be next. Is that coming from you or from the Emperor, Barris? It's hard to tell the difference. Don't mock me, Thop! Message heard loud and clear, my friend. You have proven that you are truly touched by the Emperor. The Dark Council knows that the Emperor's wrath has free reign. You are acknowledged, Wrath. Your actions will not be challenged as long as they do not contradict our own. You are answerable only to our ultimate master. Do not expect the status quo, my lords. Your comfort has come to an end. As you decree, Ross. Let the enemies of the Empire tremble. The Emperor's wrath shall consume them all. My dear friend, the Rat. Always a pleasure to see you intact. Darth Varon, this is unexpected. Well, what's life without a few surprises? There are matters I'd like to discuss in person, and I happen to be near the Rishi system. Perhaps we can meet, enjoy a respite from the bloodshed and destruction. There are schemes at hand that require my attention. If you are involved, I would know. If you are not, then your moment is poorly chosen. I understand your position, but I can only say this. We have much to gain from one another. Wisdom to trade that runs deeper than war. And it may be some time before the opportunity comes again. I will await you at these coordinates as long as I can, but I dare not linger. Good day. My good Wrath, you look the same as ever. How many Jedi have you slain today? We meet again, Varun. In all seriousness, how are you? I understand you've been working tirelessly for our Empire. Is it satisfying, your craft? Putting down huts and cults here and there? These deeds must be done, but I grow weary of running the errands of others. As I feared, I worry for you, Wrath, and for your future. The Republic claims the Emperor is dead, but I hear rumors to the contrary. The game pieces are moving. Speak plainly. Consider this. The last wrath of the Emperor served in that position for centuries, only departing after turning traitor. As I understand, you never chose to become the wrath. The position was thrust upon you. What is it that you truly desire? I wish to rule. I wish to exert my will and my vision upon the Empire and the Sith. That is our Order's way. So it is, and though it may one day cause us conflict, I would not see your path inhibited. I have a gift to aid your endeavors. I have come upon indications that you are being watched, and have been for some time. These spies are mechanical, but ingeniously hidden using combinations of ancient and modern technology, welded into form using the Force. You make a bold claim. Why come for me? What do you want out of this? If unknown forces are tracking you, spying upon you, then surely that concerns us all. An associate of mine with connections in the Gris Enclave manufactured this. A device to reveal your foe. Use it to reclaim your privacy, if you wish, or to look upon the face of your watchers. How does it work? Activation is simple, but I draw your foe somewhere remote. The jungle, perhaps. To avoid interference. There is more I'd offer you, but not until I'm certain we are alone. Those who seek to manipulate me come to bloody ends, Varun. If these spies are your enemies instead of mine... Then they will not deal the first blow, and you will know. I will remain on Rishi as long as I can. Good hunting, Wrath.
Vargas. How delightful. Is it true that you required a special new guest for our interrogators? That is correct, Emperor. Nostural, a Jedi Master and expert in Republic personnel and operations, is now our prisoner. Delicious. I hope to have a chance to speak with him myself. But there's something else I've been hoping for as well. Farms. Not as intriguing as our eternal enemies, perhaps, but a crucial element in any wartime logistical structure. Soldiers must be fed, after all. Apparently the Jedi had extensive farms on Osus, a world that shouldn't support crops of any kind. How could they have achieved this marvel? Thanks to the Alliance Commander, our scientists have the answer. Data from the Jedi's own computers. Our soldiers shall be well fed in the campaigns to come. I'm glad that I could be of service, Emperor. And what of the remaining Jedi, Emperor? The fleet has detected them scattering like insects. We will intercept those we can, and leave a token force behind to defend Osus from any future trespassers. For you, dear Malgus, the mission is over. Return at once. We have some preparations to attend to. Now then, Commander, <laughs> my dear old friend, where you go, victory is always soon to follow. The aid of your alliance is much appreciated. We have only just begun this fresh war with the Republic, but someday soon, when our ultimate triumph comes, I am certain that you will be leading the charge. Farewell. Based on the technical readouts Zarian has acquired, I assure you it is entirely possible. Perhaps it is even a conservative estimate. A dire threat indeed. But the solution is obvious enough. Malgus, Krovos, how would we destroy the Republic's shiny new toy? Hmm? I look forward to what we can accomplish together. Splendid. The die is cast. Zarian, continue gathering intelligence on the shipyard and its defenses. Anathel, Shah. I trust you will share all necessary resources in a cordial and supportive manner. Of course. Perfect. We are adjourned. Commander, thank you for joining us. Darth Shah sent her compliments for your assistance on Mech Shah. It's a great pleasure to know that the two of you worked so well together. Your successes against the Republic reinforcements have all but guaranteed our victory on Corellia. I will take most of our ships to the far side of Corellia, forcing at least some of their vessels to break formation and engage us. What makes you so certain that they will follow you? Hmm? Indiscriminate bombardment of the planet's surface. I appreciate your plan's dramatic effect, Krovos. But there must be resources you could target on Karelia that would weaken our enemy more significantly in the long term. As you wish. Our ships reduce the complex to slag, and the Republic's best hope for victory crumbles into dust. Splendid. I do enjoy the intricacies of your strategies. But what of our honored guest? How do you plan to include the Alliance? The silencers are vulnerable to starfighter attack. I shall look forward to reports of our great victory. Good hunting. When we fight as one united empire, we cannot fail. Ah, but let us not forget our beloved allies. Commander, please join our celebration. It would not be possible without you. Such a pity that dear Malgus couldn't be here. He will be back amongst us just as soon as his recovery is complete. Wonderful. The future of our empire is bright indeed. It's been an honor to help the empire win this victory. I am gratified to hear it. Let's continue this conversation alone, Commander. The rest of you may go.
our victory cannot mask one simple truth. The Dark Council has value as an administrative body, but they are not the best choice for wartime operations. The Empire requires an organization more suited to direct, decisive action, free of the interference of the Dark Council, a group answerable only to me. Our past Emperor had such a group, the Hand, but they were fanatics and madmen, as you well know. So I will form my own hand. Its members will be the Empire's most powerful and loyal warriors. I would like to fill my hand's ranks with you and the members of your alliance. Odessan would join the Empire formally. Your members would become full citizens. Having seen your efficacy in the post first hand, I would name you Empire's Wrath, that you might destroy our enemies as ably as you ever did. Of course, you may still choose to forgo all of this in favor of maintaining your Alliance's independence. You would still work directly with the Hand, not the Dark Council. I leave it up to you. Rejoin the Empire, or remain the Alliance Commander. The Empire is where I belong. The Alliance will become your hand, and I will be your wrath. Welcome home, old friend. I will have the necessary preparations begun immediately, and find a suitable liaison while Malgus is uh, indisposed. I look forward to the victories to come. Farewell. Ah, old friend. Such a pleasure to see you again after so long. I overheard something of a commotion. Is everything all right? Someone attempted to kill our dear guest. An assassination attempt? On you? I'm amazed that there's anyone left in the galaxy who would even try. It's been far too long, Varon. Indeed. I look forward to making the galaxy our plaything once more. I'm not convinced it was an assassin. It felt more like I was being tested. Really? I shall task some of our people with tracking the assailant down. I would love to learn more. Now then, Char, let's go over what we've planned. This will be a glorious day for the Empire. A day to be exceeded only by our forthcoming victory on Karelia. Now then, everyone to your tasks. Take no prisoners, and above all else, enjoy yourselves. Watching you work has been as delightful as ever. I shall look forward to our next opportunity to collaborate, as always. Farewell. Yes, Emperor. It seems our worst fears have come true. Forgive the dramatics. Come now, Rivix. There's no need to apologize for adding a bit of drama, if only to make this situation more bearable. Indeed, my lord. Regretfully, Darth Krovos has confirmed our suspicions. Malgus has successfully removed all of the mechanisms we use to ensure his compliance. Yet you found nothing else? What of the tome he stole from the Osus Library? We haven't located it, my lord. And what's worse, it seems Malgus added another relic to his collection, if the containment case we found on Dantooine is any indication. Well, that is terribly disappointing news, Lord Rivix. You certainly have your work cut out for you. I shall let you return to it. Thank you, Emperor Valron. We shall speak again soon. For the Empire.
Malgus is too dangerous to be left alive. We should kill him and be done with it. That was my advice. But the Emperor wants answers. Or perhaps he simply wants his toy back.